Hello artists, welcome back to Art at Home with Mrs. Kellogg. Well, I can't believe it, but it is October. So I thought for a really fun lesson this week, we would create a spider web and a spider using the elements of art, line, shape, and color. So meet me over at my workspace, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the lesson and the materials you will need. Well, as I said before, we're gonna create a spider web and a spider using the elements of art line and as you can see we're going to use lots of lines we're also going to use shape and color now the materials you will need you want to have an art mat um, on top of your table or workspace or you could use newspapers um, also you want to have your pencils and eraser I'm going to be using a black Sharpie marker and it's permanent. And the reason I need a permanent marker is because if I put water on a non-permanent marker, the ink's going to run. So if you don't have that permanent black Sharpie marker, you can use a black oil pastel from your art kit. The other materials you will need are paper towels or uh, napkins. And we're going to use watercolor. You'll need your brush and you want to have a cup that you can uh, put water in. Another supply you will need is a ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, you can always use the straight edge of a paper or a book. So those are the materials you will need today. So now is a great time to pause that video, get your materials, and I'll meet you back here. Did you get your materials? Great, then let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by using my element of art line and I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across like so. So I'm gonna place my ruler down or you could use, again, um, the straight edge of a paper if you don't have a ruler. And I'm gonna do my best to try to get it to go to corner to corner, but if that doesn't work out, that's okay. It'll you'll still be able to make that spider web. Okay, so then once I have that done, I'm going to put in my point. And every line that I draw for my spider web has to come from that point. So that's, that's gonna act as my vanishing point. Okay, so I'm gonna set up my ruler like so. And you can also do this freehand. I've, I've done it before freehand. Okay, and I'm gonna turn my paper as I go. So I noticed that one. Do you notice I didn't get it to that point? So I wanna make sure I get it, all the lines coming from that point. Okay, so now I have that and I look at it, I make sure, so this one didn't quite go to that point, so I'm gonna fix that. Okay, now that I have that, I'm ready to put my curved lines in. Okay, so I'm gonna set my paper like this and notice the curved lines are gonna curve this direction. It's almost like I'm gonna be making smile lines. So I'm gonna start here. And I'm just gonna continue like so. Now I'm gonna turn my paper now, the thing I want you to notice is that the lines meet up. So I need to start my next line here. So you're touching that other line. Okay. 
and I'm just going to continue around my paper like so to create that web. Now, if I wanted a full web, I'd continue all the way around drawing these lines out from that point and continuing with my curved lines. But what I want is just a half of a web and I want my spider dangling from the web. So my next step is I'm gonna draw part of that web kind of dangling. Now here's where I'm going to use my shape to create the spider. I'm going to create a circle for the head. And then I'm going to create that oval for the body. And now it's um, time to put the eight legs on. So I'm going to have two just below the head and I'm just going to sketch those in. And then I'm going to have the bottom four legs going, bending in the opposite direction. So however you want to design your spider is up to you. Um, and if you want to continue and make a full web, you can do that and put the spider on it. Okay, now I'm going to place these parts of the spider in there. Okay, so now I'm finished with the drawing part. Now I'm going to start tracing my lines. And I like to trace my spider first and then now I have my web and spider trace, so it's time to paint. But before I paint, what I might recommend is if you have another paper or your paper towel, um, you can mix colors on that so you know what happens when you put certain colors together. For example, when I'm going to paint uh, around or over my spider, what I want to make sure of is that I don't use a really dark color. Um, and I'm not going to use uh, black in this project. Um, if you get black mixed into the other colors, the colors will get very muddy. So um, the reason why I don't want to use that uh, dark colors next to dark is my spider will disappear. So a good way to think about this, if you really want your shapes to stand out, think about putting those light colors next to dark colors. So for example, if I took yellow and I put it next to either this dark blue or the purple, the, both colors would stand out. So now I'm going to start painting. So I'm going to choose two colors to start with in my web. So I want to create a, a design. So um, and, I, and design is when I repeat my colors, when I repeat my shapes. So think of it as a pattern. I'm using watercolors. It's watercolor, so you want to make sure your brush is really nice and wet. Another thing you can do, um, if you prefer, make sure you have enough water down. Some, uh, another way to do this is you could actually paint a section of that web first with just water and then you can apply the paint. So that'll make sure you have enough water down. Okay, or you just dip your brush every time you go into the paint. Now, one important thing is um, you want to make sure that you're not digging and scooping into the paint. So think of it this way. Um, you want to, when you get your paint, it's almost like you're petting a kitten or a puppy. So you don't want to dig and scoop. You only want to have the paint on the tip of the brush. Okay, so I think I'm going to start over here. And I'm just going to add a little of that paint right there. Okay, and notice I turn my brush. So if it's a skinny uh, area or a narrow area, what I like to do 
is turn my brush. If it's a wider area, I go there. So I'm going to use some orange in this. So that's going to be my next color. And I'm going to continue on like this. This is going to mix a little bit for me. And I know I'll probably put some orange right there. The more water you use, the lighter your color, the less water you use, um, the darker your color. And now I'm going to go in with the yellow and I'm just going to continue like that. Now I put a lot of paint in there because this is what I wanted to show you. If it gets out of control like that, that's why I have these extra paper towels so you can blot the paint. See how that got all mixed? See, I can blot it out. Okay, so now I've finished with my web and you can notice some of the colors have, have mixed. So watercolor is going to run, so that's why it's good to have a paper towel. Um, but I like the way the colors are mixing into um, each other. So I'm going to leave that. So the next thing I would recommend is now's a good time to clean your water. Um, once you're done with painting your spider web and your water is clean, it's time to put in that background color. I'm going to use purple, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lot of water right around the spider um, and so it's lighter. So remember, if you use, see that's pretty dark, so that means I'm going to add, I'm not going to go back for more paint. So see how I didn't go back for more paint and I used more water. So that gives me a nice light purple color. So even though I used purple, I used a lot more water so it would be nice and light around my spider. And then the same thing here. And again, and if it does get too dark, um, you can always blot your paper in. I, I did that over here so that would lighten up your um, area around your spider as well. That's our lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you had lots of fun painting. And always remember when you're creating art to relax, have lots of fun, and keep creating.